Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. Today's video is a comprehensive guide for the upcoming Call to Action event challenge. Starting from November 15th, this new series of weapon based challenges will see us kitting out the Auto Axe with a red upper skin, using it to complete daily challenges that come in five different flavours of mayhem until November 29th. I'll cover how to start these challenges, the unique rewards you can obtain, and what each of these new daily and weekly challenges actually is, so you won't miss out on the final reward. Let's get started. Special thanks to data miners DSJ and Sugar Bombs Rads for sourcing a lot of the information for this video. Please give them both a follow, their links are in the video description. This video is timestamped if there's a particular section you want to navigate to, but first let's go through how you start this new series of challenges. During the Valentine's Day holiday back in 2021, a three week limited series of challenges debuted, with the Spread the Love Challenge centred around using the Heart Wrencher to complete challenges. This was a unique skin for the Pipe Wrench, and using the Heart Wrencher to complete the weekly challenges yielded rewards like the Robco t-shirt and shorts, green backwards bungalow, and lobster trap helmet. Call to Action is going to function in a similar way. This time around though it's going to be an Auto Axe skin, so providing you claim the axe from the Season 10 scoreboard, you'll just need to head to the Atomic Shop to claim this free item. Apply it at a workbench and you're ready to go. So a fun little detail that was pointed out by DSJ, the name Red Upper is a reference to the Pittsburgh slang of Red Up, which means to clean. Anyway, let's move on. Let's go through the challenges next. So there are a total of five different randomized daily challenges. Can Opener is the robot destroying challenge. You'll need to destroy a total of 10 with the Red Upper, and completing this will reward you with a repair kit. Next up is Super Mutants. Killing 10 of these with your axe will reward you with the Carry Weight Booster. Trogs, kill 10 of them for a legendary module. Axe Terminator sees you hunting down some insects, and you've got to axe terminate 10 for a lunchbox. And last but not least, Fanat Axe is 10 fanatics, which will bag you a perk card pack. So completing whichever five daily challenges you get from this list, you'll get the weekly challenge completion. And then if you rinse and repeat for the week two, you'll also get that as well. Now let's talk about the rewards, because currently as I'm recording this, some potential rewards have changed. So aside from the new weapon skin that you get for free, completing both weekly sets of challenges will reward you with a new set of Fnatic armor, and this is the Fnatic striker outfit and helmet. I quite liked all these new raider sets, so I definitely want to make sure I get this one as well. Of course, I've been through the daily rewards already with a selection of consumables attainable, but originally, completing the weekly challenges was slated to reward us with an all new consumable that provides different effects. Completing one weekly would have given you a scout banner. There are actually different variants of these. A teamwork banner would have restored 100% AP. Discovery banner would highlight enemies for 5 seconds. An innovation banner would repair weapon condition by 10%. Survival restores 20% of HP. And finally, a research banner which repairs armor condition by 10%. I have pre-recorded this video, so I'm hoping that when the Inside the Vault article releases, these banners actually may have been restored as rewards. But failing that, we currently will be receiving score as the rewards for each weekly challenge. So yeah, I guess that would help with the scoreboard I suppose. It looks like currently that these new scout banners will instead be rewarded either on the Season 11 scoreboard, or they'll be obtainable from the Atomic Shop. But you know, we'll have to wait and see. That brings us to the end of this guide for Call to Action. I hope you found this guide easy to follow and it will help you get started when the challenges go live on the 14th. We have plenty more videos releasing this month, with camp build tutorials, news and more videos from the new co-op on tour PTS, so subscribing and turning on the bell icon is the best way to stay up to date and ensure you don't miss a video. If you enjoyed this particular video, why not drop a like on it as well. With that said, I am off, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.